What's going on? Uh, Tom Gore has addressed the media last night and confirmed that the Pistons still are going to try to make a winner. And he tells his, uh, you know, ultimate goal for the Pistons right now. Let's talk about it. We back Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. I uh, won't miss another video. And uh, let's talk about some things, some of the Q&A. And I'll link the article you can read. The fuel, the full, uh, the full, the fuel, <laughs> the full Q and A he did. Excuse me. Um, he said they asked him, "Are you still following the philosophy of not sacrificing the future for the short short term?" And um, you know, we don't want to sacrifice the future, but I don't think we have. We have a lot to work on, but we are not going to do anything that just throws everybody out. That's not what we we are doing. Uh, that's not what we're going to do. Excuse me. And um, like I said before, you know, he has sacrificed the future. What is he talking about? You know, you trade the front, you trade the first round pick trick pick last year. You know what I'm saying? You have, you know what I'm saying? By taking on Blake Griffin, a uh, contract, you sacrificed the future. You sacrificed the future of the cap by reading up Andre Drummond with that Blake, big contract and bringing Reggie and trading other assets. You're sacrificed the future. You already have done that. He's. I don't think we. He's the most dumbest basketball guy I've ever talked. Dumbest owner. I've, some dudes like him just need to shut up. You know, I wouldn't be heard or seen. You know, at none of the games because he's pathetic. He don't look around the arena and see. Don't nobody come out and see the Pistons. You know, because everybody know they sacrificed the future more than once. Pick a Luke Kennard over Dev, Dev, Devon Mitchell. Trading for Reggie Jackson that was stupid. Trade for Blake Griffin ultimately became stupid. So, should you tank? Do you get the sense that this won't work? We always want to have a competitive team. We don't care. We don't have a competitive team now, okay? And, and we don't have a competitive team now. The majority of the people that really know basketball would rather the Pistons tank. Knicks fans is happy. They happy they tanking, and they the worst team, and they got the best chance to get Zion. You got to tank in this league when you – with the Knicks, can, they can get free agents because they're in New York. The Pistons can't. Nobody want to come here. You want to draft them and, 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 and build the farm, build, just build them – from from scratch, you know, plant these seeds and let them flourish in Detroit and get used to being here. But they idiots, okay. And he also says, you know, he wants to go into the luxury tax. But the thing about it was, you know, uh, let me talk about this. He asked, was you know, Anthony Davis trade? This does it make you nervous that Blake will follow suit? No, I think Blake has made a commitment. We partially have a commitment with each other. I'm not concerned at all. And you know, it's one of the other questions he uh, he also asked. Uh, there's no chance you can sell. To me, the future is a little bit about now. We have two all stars with Dre and uh, Blake and uh, du uh, Dwayne. Yeah, even though I put Dwayne in there, by mistake, Dwayne just started. Um, but one, Andre Drummond ain't no all star, especially he ain't no perennial all star. You know, he's not better than Giannis. He's not better than Vujovic right now, okay? But he ain't no all star. That's just what the situation is, okay? So, homeboy ain't no all star. You know, Blake Griffin may not be an all-star this year, neither. He might get snubbed for being on the sorry team. But I think he had an all-star caliber year, so I dub him an all-star. But, you know, they, they planning on, you know, still, you know, mortgaging the future for now. You know, he's sacrificing right now. And they, he said he wanted to go into luxury tax. He's looking to bring another big player in. And like I say, man, I mean, he's just looking to win now. And the Pistons not going to win now. You're not going to get an Anthony Davis or Giannis or LeBron. Or, or KD, those are only players that, that can change your franchise. You know, maybe a Kimball Walker could change it here, but who do you give up for Kimball Walker? Because if you give up Blake or Dre, that kind of defeats the purpose, right? You know what I'm saying? He's trying to put somebody next to Blake and Andre, and he says the ultimate goal right now is to make the playoffs. Like, dude, you can make the playoffs, and, and people still won't come fuck with the Pistons. Pistons have a championship pedigree. You know what I'm saying? It's not consistent like L.A. or Boston, but they have someone with the championship pedigree. If you move them to Detroit, people show that they still don't care about the team like that. They don't care about the team like the Lions. The Lions can be an average team um, for 10 straight years and still do sellout after sellout. And, and the TV deals is immaculate with, with the NFL, with the NBA. You know, they don't, they don't care about, about Blake coming to see Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond. The whole city know that team ain't going to win. They know it. They know the team is sorry. So people go down there for fun. You would never sell out that whole arena unless it's like the Warriors or the Lakers or something like that come. Other than that, people don't come see Blake Griffin. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to see Andre Drummond. People in Detroit, they want to see LeBron, KD, Giannis, guys like that. 
And other than that, they want to see a winner on the on the te- on the floor. You know what I'm saying? They want to see what Ben Wallace and and Chauncey and Rip, or they want to see um, um, Isaiah Thomas, Bill Lambeer, John Sally, Vinny Johnson. Even when Grant Hill was at the Palace, there wasn't nobody coming to see them. Real talk, wasn't nobody selling out to see Grant Hill. And Grant Hill was, was, was the real deal Holyfield. You know what I'm saying? So Tom Gores don't understand. He's so, he not in touch with his fans. He not in touch with the fan base of the Pistons. The Pistons don't give a fuck about no Drummond and no Griffin if they ain't winning. And they, we don't care about just making the playoffs just to get swept. You need to be building towards a, a championship caliber team for the next decade. And nobody feel like the Pistons are progressing towards that for towards building that team for a decade. Nobody. He he's still thinking they one big player away. He's still thinking Dwayne Casey can work his magic with the field. No, he can't. He can't. With Boston, Philadelphia, Toronto, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh the Milwaukee. Come on, man, you're not gonna do nothing. So they're going to continue to just keep trying to build on the fly, and it ain't working. Piss has been doing it for almost 15 years now, it feel like. Well, not 15 years, but more like 10 years now. And by them, you know, being buyers at the trade line, trade deadline, that's anybody wants some of these assets they got, which they reportedly like Ish and Stanley and Reggie, but they, Reggie Bullock, they're not going to bring no return back. They're not going to bring the player you need back to save this franchise, you know? And by them being, you know, trying to be buyers, man, it's going to set the, the franchise back for another decade or two decades, for another 20 years. He's going to sit there and keep losing money. People still not going to come see the Pistons no matter what he do. He got an old Blake Griffin. He's going to have an Andre Drummond that never tapped into his potential because he never had the point guard to do so. And like I said, man, it's going to be the same redundant thing with the Pistons. The Pistons are going to be the last team out of the major four to 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 really push towards making deep playoff runs and championship runs. Why should I tell you? You know, right there with the Lions, man. Where the Lions might be a step above them. Tom Gores is an idiot. He's an idiot. Do the right thing. People still not gonna come see you. Tear it down. Trade Blake. Trade Dre. Next year, Terry Reggie when his contract expires. And be bad. And just be terrible. And tank. That's what you got to do because people are not going to see this team regardless. People sit here and tell me how good Reggie Bullock is or how good Stanley is or what Reggie Jackson, how, what the record was last year with Reggie Jackson when he played with Drake, Blake and Dre. And we see what the results this this year. It's shitty boo-boo. It's shitty boo-boo. So all this preaching everybody's saying, you know, I just want to know when the last time, I mean, a lot of people that's out here capping went to a Pistons game. How many people hold season tickets since you believe in Blake and Drummond so much? You know, who want these players that they got to get you a significant player? Nobody. You're not going to land what you need to, to save this franchise. And you don't have no money in free agency. You know, and I, I got a feeling they're going to trade their first round draft pick if somebody, you know, duped them on a player they don't want. Why should I tell you, man? Why should I tell you, man? You know, but short of, I don't see nobody saving this franchise, but I just see it being bad for 20 more years. Um, I don't, I mean, like I said, I think NBA need to cut back on some franchise anyway. The NBA only got a handful of teams for the last 50, 100 years that got a chance to win a championship. A handful. And people say, always oh, talking about the Warriors dominate too much. Well, shit, it's always been like that. The Celtics and, 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 and the uh, uh, Lakers went to every championship in the, in the 80s other than the one the Pistons went to and once the Philadelphia 76ers made it to. So that's eight years of making a championship of the same team. My, uh, Mike went six times in the nineties. One, the other two times, three times was two was Houston, and another time was uh, the Knicks and the Spurs in the lockout year. Yeah, I know basketball. I lived it. Now, but it is what it is. I linked that article. You can read the full Q and A. Let me know what you think. Motor City Sports Talk. Don't forget we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You reach out to the email if you got business question inquiry, or you got a sponsorship. Once again, I appreciate the brothers and sisters supporting the channel. And uh, hopefully everybody have a blessed day, safe day. Uh, just keep sharing the videos. Uh, you can send me video requests if you got a video request and an email. And um, check us out on social media. And uh, let me know what y'all think about Tom Gores and, and, and this statement that he or these Q&A press conference that he did. I'll link our article in the description so you can read it yourself. One time for the one time. Motor City Sports Talk. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Be gone.